Hi guys, this is Gloria from Crafted with a Heart. How is everybody doing today? I'm doing good. It's a little rainy down here now the sun is out, but um, anyway, I figure I'll come out here and share with you a couple of things. Uh, little small hauls and also a, a couple of projects that I've uh, been working on. And so uh, I figure I, I, I come on YouTube and so after watching everybody's, I said, let me go and do and finish doing this. And I hope everybody likes it and uh, blessings to all of you and uh, welcome to everybody, including the new ones. Thank you for subscribing and uh, I really appreciate it and I also appreciate your nice comments. Thank you so much. Anyway, with further ado, let me start sharing with you a little projects I've been working for the 4th of July. Not much. Uh, I don't do, I do a lot, but not a lot. I try to keep it simple the 4th of July because it seems to be the, the seasons tend to mingle with each other from now on. I mean, now we have to prepare in July for the Christmas stuff that we have to start doing projects and stuff for Christmas and, you know, October and or Halloween, all that kind of stuff that is being one after the other. So it's going to be kind of busy. I, I've been busy all week anyway, all year. So anyway, let me start showing with you what I did with some of the stuff that I hold before from Dollar Tree. This is, um, this is one of the things, well, actually I did two. I'll show you the blue one. These are the, I don't know if y'all remember before, I, I showed you the rockets. I had used these stars and I hold them before in a Dollar Tree haul that I did previously. Um, I took um, one of the bases on Dollar Tree and of course the, the little rim here that you get. And I just wrap it around and glue this with E6000 because it's supposed to be a candle stand. This I just tuck, tuck it in with a little bit of glue so it doesn't fall. And uh, you can take it off and use it as a candlestick. Um, I remember the stars. I don't know if you can see. I put, I mingled the three of them together, and it's, it's a, it makes a nice size candle holder for the Fourth of July. And I figured I put this up. You can still put a, a tea light in here too, if you want to, underneath and light it up if you want. So I figured I share this with you. Something simple. I did that one in the in the blue one for my table. Uh, let me see how I do this because I have big projects here. Okay. Another simple thing I did was, uh, I don't know if you remember these flowers. I mean, what well, these, these, not flowers, but you know what I mean. Uh, I have bought this and shared with you. This little bucket was from previously uh, plants that I bought uh, in Tuesday morning to grow them. And fortunately, the one that came in here never showed up. So I was not able to grow that one. The other ones are still growing. Anyway, I used that, this tin base. I put some uh, lavender little salt in here for, for the stand so it makes it heavy and then I added just a little hat with a, st uh, a stick from the three little hats I bought a Dollar Tree a flag that I had gotten there three four dollars so and then the bird that was hanging dangling away I cut the stuff out and I attached it to a little stick painted it gray and I put it here to just simple decoration that's that one that goes in the uh, table in the kitchen and then the big one, let me back up so you guys can see. Remember the hat? I got the hat. I put the same thing. I put lavender in there to hold it. A flower from Dollar Tree. And I did two sides, two sided hat, the flag attached it to one of the stems. And this is how it came out. It's very pretty simple. A couple of dollars. You can do a nice arrangement. So I hope you like it for the 4th of July. So this is this, and that's the last of the projects. Okay, now let me start you with um, Michaels. Uh, Michaels, I wanted it, um, to buy this a couple of times because you you buy the, the the mats, the cutting mats, and you buy the the ink pads and everything for this for your desk, and they, after a while they become yucky and whatever. Even though you clean them, mine not pretty clean compared to ones. Some of that I see online, but anyway, I saw somebody with this. I saw the mat, they, they, was, they were not holding it, so I decided I, I bumped into it at Michael's. So I decided to go and get it from E. We are memory keepers. It's glass, it says it says so much more than just a cutting mat. Um, it's supposed to ink a metric measurement, save for hot glue, uh, paint and blending palette and angle measuring lines uh, and it's a tempered glass uh, it's 13 inches grid double work surface 
and smooth and precise cutting and also it says here non-skid feet so i haven't taken it out because i want to share with you already with you i mean oh this is a plastic so it's, it's like you know um i think this is like a let me see if it says what size it is but see you can do a lot of things here and just wipe it off so i'm hoping it works for what i, I need uh it's 14 by 14 that's the the size uh, I think it was like $20, but I used the coupon and it, it, it didn't cost me that much. So I got that. Hope it'll work. Um, I was looking for paint and pencils because I, I wanted the Prisma color pencils. And I went by the uh, paper mache stuff and look what I found, guys. So I'm going to be decorating this. Hope you'll come out nice. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to do him yet, but... I got this, it was originally, I think, I don't remember how much it was, it's from Recollection, PM Unicorn, that's what it says, but it doesn't tell me the price, but I got a discount, the lady that day that she knows me, she gave me a nice discount, I was, in, I was blessed that night. I uh, also finally, they do have, this is the one that's locked, these are the Christmas pencil, Venture. these are the 12 brilliant colors, it has the blue the green the two green the green the light green and the dark green the yellow the orange the red the purple the the baby blue black white brown and a darker black so basically it has the basic colors um eventually because these pencils are very expensive this was for only this uh this 12 pencils was normally 24.99 they're the artist one and there is i asked the girl because i I seen them, they were like, I said, they have to be a reason. They must be the, one of the best pencils in the, that you buy. And of course they are. And, um, but I, I used a coupon, so I, I didn't pay the $24.99. They were selling outside the case, the lock case. They were selling Christmas pens. I said, what? Well, then I asked the lady, what's the difference between this one and the other ones? And she said, well, they're not, the ones out there, they're not, they're not bad. They're pretty good compared to others, but, uh, they're soft, softer pencils and, and they paint better. So, but these one are, are the ones that the artists use. So, I have other pencils here. I'm going to compare for the uh, Jean Devaport pencils. I got those. So, I'm going to compare between those and this one to see what the difference is. And I guess I'll let you guys know. I, I also, I'm looking here. I don't have, you know, I do have markers of every kind you can imagine. So, anyway, I decided to buy these because I wanted to... I start stamping stuff I want to use and I want to be able to blend in really nice so this will do the job so that's one thing then I've been watching people talking about their journal their junk journal their uh, whatever that this and that and I said you know what uh, I don't want to call mine a junk journal I um, though I'm gonna put different things there I want to put their quotes or things that I think about uh, things that uh, I like poetry so I would like to uh, writing some poetry so I would like to add I guess it could, it's like a junk journal and I would like to add like I went to my mother's day the, uh, my daughter took me for to Orlando we had a nice time I wanted to uh, incorporate the tickets and stuff like that and they so they had this it was 50% off if I'm not mistaken this is the Molly and Rex so I got these and it had three traveling journals, so I was looking live la life you love, live the life you love. And so it has three of them in here. Eventually, I'm, I I oh, I got this one with the bicycle. I like this one, the green. So you guys have seen this before, but this is what I'm going to be using for that. I do have um, uh, what do you call that? Um, I have um, a. Another book where I keep my uh, my appointments and stuff like that that I decorate. I haven't shared that with you guys. I got one of the smaller ones, and uh, I guess one of these days I'll share with you guys because you've seen some different people. The other thing I was looking for because I love to paint, and then I mean I'm not an artist, but it's for some reason I love to see the colors and mingle them. So I was looking for water paper, so I got this pad. I mean just blank paper it's different stock because I tried it with the other ones and it's not as thick as this one so this is what it's 24 sheets it's 140 pounds so that's what I was looking for so I think from now on this is what I'm gonna be buying 
if I do cards or whatever, I like this unless, uh, like of course, you know, we, we buy the paper pads to decorate the top of the card and whatever. So I got that. And the last thing I got from Michael's was this, guys. Any crafter that uses glue, any kind of glue, should buy this. Use a coupon, of course, because it's a little pricey. But this is the best thing to use to take, detach anything without damaging the project you're working for. And this one do is amazing. And the way you do it is, because it takes a little practice, people just expect it to work. You just open it, the, the, the liquid will come in here, and you put it on the project, the area you want to reboot, just let it sit for a couple of seconds, and then with this, just pull it up. Because a lot of people just try to push it up right away. You have to let the, the chemical, whatever it is, work. This is excellent thing. It, it removes, I, I have another one. I can't even think the name of it. I, it's still there somewhere for emergencies, but I don't use it. But this thing is amazing. So that's the last one of Michael's. Let me show you what I got on Tuesday morning, guys. They were running a sale. Let me bend here for a second. Okay. Um, they were having the 60 to 80, it was it 25, 20 to 80% off. Uh, so that was a Saturday or Friday that I went. I think it was Friday that I go to the Tuesday morning and I've been eyeing this for a while. It says Bellissimo and it's a storage unit. I got this long one. I got the bigger one that's like this. I don't have it here. You know, it's, it's in here. I'm sorry. It is. I'm losing it, guys. What can I tell you? Let me show you these two glasses. I got these glasses. This ones were 39 cents. I got six of them. I mean, I in this thing and I in this thing. I said, I'm not paying no $7 for it. And finally, they went into 80%. So I paid 39 cents for this. I got six of those. Then I saw this one. They're all dirty, dusty. They were $3.99. I got four of them and they were $0.69. Cents. No, that, that was, the, this was $0.69. This was $39. Sorry. Yeah, that's how it was. So I got those. Then, this is the other side that I got. Oops. I put the lid here. Got this side. The lid is somewhere in here. Where's the lid? Where did it go? Oh, here it is. There it is. So I'm going to be storing stuff. So, sorry about that, guys. So, I'm going to be storing this. Using it in my kitchen. I got the baby one. And this were like a 60% off. 60% off. This one was $12.99. And 60% also, it was like five something, this one. Um, this big one was $11.99. And it's, it has a purple thing, but I questioned them about the date. Remember, they were anything from the, um, April, May, June, and July from 2016 had to be 60% or 80%. It depends on how far. So she gave it to me for 60% off. You could buy spaghetti or anything there. This one was $9.99, 60% off. You could put coffee, sugar, or anything here. And the little one was $7.99. And this is Italian. This is made in, no, I'm sorry, this is made in India. It was made in India. Then I got the huge one. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to hold this thing here so it doesn't fall. Let's see how I do this. Okay. So this is the huge one, and this was the most expensive one. This was $24.99, and I got 60% off, so I think I got it for $11 or something like that. So, <clears throat> it's pretty big. This is, let me see if it says the ounces. No, it doesn't say the ounces, but I thought it was really nice. It goes with the, my kitchen theme. I have the, the kitchen Italian theme, so this is what I got. And then... And none of the Tuesday morning, I couldn't find, I've been looking for this paper pad and the inks, and I haven't been able to find them. So I called one that's 45 minutes from here, and I have a friend that lives up there, and she picked this up for me. 
she picked up this paper pad you have seen before it has all the holidays from Martha Stewart and I don't know if you have it's a one-sided paper so very pretty look at Easter Fourth of July or Memorial Day glitter Halloween Look at that one. Halloween, look at that cat. <laughs> That's the oranges and the Halloween of fall colors. The Thanksgiving of fall and Christmas. So, look at that gingerbread, so pretty. And the, the hollies. And so I guess it has two of each. So she she got this for me, and so now I mean she, you know I gave her the money, but she got that, and then I I've been looking for this guys. Um, I only found the distress inks with the dauber that everybody been holding. I wanted one of each color, but I only was able to find a couple of them. Um, I found blue sketch. I got. Hickory smoke. I got antique linen. And I got candy apple. So those are the only ones I got. My daughter, I, I was talking to her earlier and I told her to sit to look in New Jersey because my grandson is coming for it. The, the, for the summer, he's gonna spend the summer with me, so I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled about that. So we're gonna be doing stuff around and whatever. So and hopefully he'll be able to teach me how to record on my computer uh, these hauls and the share of the projects. And maybe I'll be able to do some projects, you know, some not tutorial, but just to, to show you or or videotape how I do some of my projects. You know, that doesn't take too long. So I hope uh, I can do that. He can show me how to doing the computer or how to upload you know how to do things um i try different people to help me but nobody's available to that i have a daughter here but she's always busy so anyway she comes home i'm inside this is another project i've been working on this is a box this is for a challenge that um victorian dreams has every month of this this month's challenge to to decorate a box or anything any anything that's cardboard um so if you go to Victoria and doing the glue gun, uh, the, well actually it's a uh, glue gun chronicles uh, on Facebook. You look her up. Um, she t t tells you everything about the the challenge. Every she has one every month. Uh, once a month she does a drawing and you get some goodies that she gives away uh, to whoever comes out. You know the winner after the people the people that participate. Whoever wants to participate. So I've been working on this. Also, Case for Karen is running a challenge too. So go over her channel, guys. And um, I also want to thank Kathy's car for her challenge. It was awesome to do the project. She it gives us um, ideas to, and to expand our, our our views and self of doing things. So thank you, Kathy, and Happy Ella. After also her, ch uh, she also is uh, running a challenge. Uh, just go over her channel and check her out, guys. Um, wonderful people wonderful youtubers um they do great jobs and good shares and stuff like that so anyway with all that being said god bless all of you thank you so much for being here with me and being part of my life blessings to all of you from florida take care bye bye